A warm good evening to one and all present here. Welcome to the orientation program on e-safety training and awareness. Dear parents, as you already know about e-child safety, this e-child program is very important point of concern. How we should use the online tools and how we are doing an online activities. As we have seen, many parents, students, and the young generation is using a social platform in such a rigorous way. And very fast techniques, they are using it. Here, I'm going to say a few precautions and the safety measures to be taken when we are online. This orientation program is about the e-safety and the awareness for the parents. I welcome each and every one. Today's agenda of this program is about the internet safety, security, how we should be very smart and safe online, how our password should be very safe and strong. Let me explain you. Today's aim of the session is usage of the internet, awareness of the internet and the safety issues support of the parents and how strong we should be. Online security is a major concern. What happens in an internet minute? Why we are here? The picture shows the speed at which the internet is changing the world. The sites we saw are becoming overwhelming popular for both adults and the children. The online world is increasingly integrated into our daily lives. As little as 10 years ago, the internet was not integrated in this way and there would have been no for such a session, session like such as this. Let me explain you about the internet security. Internet security is a term that describes the security for activities and the transactions made over the internet. Protect. There are some safety rules which I would like to share with you. Protect our personal information. We should keep our personal information very private. Make sure our devices are secure. We should always pay our attention toward the software updates. We should be very careful about Wi-Fi. We should have our backup to our data. Whatever the data we have stored, we should have the backup. Stay safe online. Few safety tips I would like to say. Get the latest antivirus and the firewall software. Update your internet browser. Create a strong and the easy to remember password. Use a different password to the one you use for the other services. It means that you should not use same password each and everywhere whatever the transactions you are doing or whatever the devices or any apps you are using. Internet safety, protection of people. Online safety protects the people using them from harm by the devices and network through the awareness, education, information and the technology. Internet safety at home. School or libraries must certify they have an internet safety policy that blocks or filter access to the picture that are very harmful to the minors. While at home, the same protections are not in place. So students could have access to inappropriate content. At home, families are expected to ensure the internet safety measures you may work with your internet provider 
or cell phone carriers to provide specific restrictions. Few points I would say, I like to say about the safety basics. Keep your own password. Do not share with others. Establish inter internet rules. Do not even share your full name or address or the phone number to anyone who is online. It's very dangerous on the internet to share all our personal things. We should never send our pictures to the stranger. We should have our own password. One more thing I would like to say you, we should not open an email from someone who we don't recognize. It may contain a virus or that will totally shut down our computer. Internet safety. We should be very safe on social media like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Snapchat, or Pinterest. We all are using this all apps, but we should be very careful while using this all apps. We should be very smart and very safe. We should protect our personal things. We should have a strong password. We should keep our things very private. Our personal information we should not share with others. We should pay attention to the software updates. We should set the rules in our home for the real world as well as for the net world. For the real world, we should inform our children that strangers are very dangerous. You should say sorry when you hurt to someone or go to bed on time, early to bed, early to rise. Share your toys and take turns by playing a game. Brush your teeth, take a bath. Don't answer to the door when the mom is not at home. Same way, the net rules also should be followed. Never meet someone in person you, you have met in the cyber world or on the online. Limit time on the computer. There should be a specific time given to the students, 30 minutes or 15 minutes after coming from the school or in the evening time or after doing the homework we should give them a time of that from 7 to 7 30 you should watch we should have a control on the social media or on the internet or for the surfing never give out our personal information we should say to our children that they should not give any personal information related to parents date of birth phone number contact number email id or password anything to any unknown person. Don't respond to the messages that are threatening. Now about the password protection. We should have our password should be of seven to 10 characters. If it is longer, it will be better. At least we should use a combination of letter, numbers or the characters. Make sure that we should not repeat the password. Make sure that we should not use our real name. Try to use the different numbers or the capital letters, uppercase or the lowercase. We should be very smart. Keep safe by being careful not to give the personal information when we are chatting or posting online. Stay safe, don't meet up, accepting files, reliable, or tell someone something. What must be our concern? We should know about our children. We should know about what our children are doing on the internet, to whom they are talking on the internet. We should have a control to access the app. We should be ensure 
the balance between the screen time and the active lifestyle. Half talk about the risk and the association while talking to the stranger. Last but not the least, it is very important to work smartly and safely. Our family, your family is waiting for you. Thank you. Stay safe.